The problem with being good at poker is that no matter how good you are, there's somebody out there that's better. Uh, Nolan kept telling me, oh, we're going to be a million dollar company. I thought he was crazy. <laughs> It only said the word Pong on it. There were no instructions. There was a coin box, a television set, the name Pong, and two controls. I did not think it was marketable. Save the bullshit for the girls. Turns out it was so stuffed full of quarters, no one could, could get any more money in it. Uh, I said, gee, if that ever happens, uh, again, you give me a call, I can fix that. A lot of these games were going into the bars where people had had six beers. It was kind of run by mob types. Uh, or claimed to be. And I told Nolan, the guy pulled a gun on me. Oh, he wasn't going to shoot you. I'm not going to those things anymore. Although being successful as a new company, Atari was always chasing money. When you're growing at double and sometimes triple digit rates, you need a lot of cash. The VCS, no matter which way I ran the numbers, required more capital than we had. I got a call one day, I can remember the question, would you have any interest in a fast-growing, technologically-based entertainment company? And I said yes, not knowing what I was answering yes to. You had these buttoned-down East Coast executives, and they're dealing with Nolan Bushnell, who sees himself as one of the world's great ladies' men. You had too many young people who were gonna get too rich, too fast. Now all of a sudden he sold his business for $28 million. He's playing tennis in the morning instead of coming directly to work. Manny Gerard wanted budget planning, marketing campaigns, and sales goals. You've gotta bring somebody in here with business discipline because this thing is growing, it's growing too fast, and it's gonna go out of control. I said, look, I'll go out there for a weekend and affect the place, but that's all I will do. It was pretty obvious to us that he was there to replace Nolan. I had decided to be such a pain in the ass that they would fire me. Getting fired was the easiest task for Nolan in years. I couldn't function with this environment unless I was running the show. I'm sure he was asked to leave. He resigned. We went from, you know, a small engineering-driven company to a very large marketing-driven company. They were doubling their sales volume every year. They went from 30 million to 60 million to 120 million to a quarter of a billion to half a billion to a billion dollars to two billion dollars in consecutive years. I think it went to everybody's head. And I think that led to some mistakes. When Atari released 10 million Pac-Man cartridges, that was the beginning of the end of Atari. I was better than all of my fraternity brothers, but I was not better than this one guy that came down and picked me cleaner than a Christmas goose. <laughs>